and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be playing level one of Coder Minds. Let's open up the box. And as we see, first we have our rule book, and then we have our board. Let's open up our board first. As you can see, when I open up my board, I am red. I'm going to take these image recognition tokens and I'm going to put them aside for now. And I'm going to take out my red bot and I'm going to be placing it right here. So this game is level one of Coder Minds. And co the level one is a training level. And it's on page 18 of the rule book. Page 18. Basic training. Training your bot is basically practicing and, and, and teaching it so that after you train it a few times, it can eventually accomplish a certain task. So now, as you can see, my bot, its eyes are facing the end. And I'm going to just put out the other bots. And as you can see, this is its start, so its eyes will be facing the end. The blue is the same. The blue's eyes will be facing its end, and same for the green. The green eyes will be facing the green end. So I am the red player, so I'm going to look at my red cards. First, we have green border cards. So what you want to do is take all the green and black bordered cards, and you want to put them aside, because those are advanced cards which will be used in different advanced levels. And then, you have to take out your zap code cards. Take your zap code card and put it to the side. And then take your card and shuffle them. And I'm going to be doing the same for the purple robot. So as you can see the zap, I'm going to be putting it right here. And I'm going to take all the purple bordered cards, put them here taking out the black and green bordered cards and I'm going to be putting them aside. I'm going to be taking the purple card and as well as like I did for the red, I'm going to be shuffling them and putting them right over here. So in this game, the objective is to zap another player and then get to the end. So basically you roll the dice, let's say I get a three. So I draw three cards. And those three cards, I can use in any way I like. So I got right, right, and forward. So whatever I think is the best way to use my cards, I can use it in that way. So maybe I can go forward, and then go right, right, or go right, right, and then forward. However I feel. But then this is a good scenario. Because as you can see, my right will be off the board. So I won't want to go off the board. So I will have to discard my two right cards. And then... So that's why I must use my four card. So if you have a card that you can use, you must use the cards. So now to zap a bot, you basically just have to be in its eyesight. But it can't be in its eyesight with a gray circle in the middle. So let's say I am right here and this purple bot is right here. So there is a gray circle in the middle. So he cannot zap me or I cannot zap him because the gray circle is kind of like a brick wall. So you can't really get through it on either side. Also, if you are on the safe and the player is right here and is about to zap you, it can't zap you because you're on the safe. And the whole point of the safe is to be safe and not get zapped. Now it can zap you in any direction, whether it's forward, backwards, diagonal, left, right, as long as there are no safes in the middle. Now an example of a state of a card where of a turn where there's a zap used is maybe I have my three cards and it's two circle any, one circle any, and two circle any. So let's say I'm gonna move two circle any and then one circle any and then two circle any. So by the way, these any's meaning any direction you like. It can be diagonal, forward, left, right, backwards. And let's say this player is right here. So then I'm going to use these three cards. I'm going to place it right here. And then I'm going to use my zap. So then I'm going to zap this bot. Now the whole point of zapping a bot is you stay in the same place, but the bot goes back to the start. 
So that could be like that. Or if you feel that maybe it's two circle any and the one circle any and you're right here and you feel like you can zap in that scenario, then you can take the zap, put it in the middle of your cone, and then put the card right after it. So that's how you use the zap card. And then once again, the objective of the game is to zap another player and then get to the end. This was level one of Coder Minds, and I hope you join us as we play level two. Thank you.